Hello and welcome to another edition of the Labu Show. I'm your host Clarice Labu, and thank you for joining us in today's episode. Today I'm here with a fabulous melanin sister of mine to discuss all things finance to help you and to help your loved ones as well. Please join me welcome the beautiful Phoebe Echu. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Okay. Hi, how are you? I am well, surviving in this Texas summer. <laughs> yes, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's popping the melanin. We can see Thank you, it. thank you. You look good. Thank you. Oh, wow. I just wanted you to come here and just tell us a little bit about you, what you do. Sure. And also to share some of your secrets when it comes to finance and how we can better manage our money because we really need that in today's economy. We do. Yeah, we do. So, that's all yours. Go ahead. Oh, well, thank you for having me, and I'm just going to introduce myself a little yes. bit so the audience know who knows who I am. Yes. I am Phoebe, as you have said. I work in the investment management industry. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that we manage people's portfolio, um, and um, we, we pretty much set them on a path for success in that we give them financial advice. We do more than financial advice. Okay. We advise them about their estates, about their tax planning, things like that where um, maybe depending on what age you are, you don't really need to start focusing on, okay. but we do all of that. So what I have a passion for, apart from the management of portfolios, okay. is helping people straighten out their finances because I see that we struggle a lot. Yes. And okay. when I speak, I speak from a perspective um, for, of, a, of an immigrant yes. first, yes. then um, somebody of color who lives in the U.S. Yes. So a lot of what I do borders around helping people of color, helping, it doesn't have to be people of my color, but people yes. of other communities who are also immigrants in the U.S. understand their finances, which means that as they understand, it sets them on a path for success, where not only them, but their children's children's children, generations, exactly, can reap mm-hmm. the benefits of their good choices. Wow. It's amazing when you say that because um, coming from, you know, from Africa, Cameroon, of yeah. course, to be precise, yeah, um, there's some things that I am just now getting when it comes to finance. Okay? Yes. So to me, I thought like, oh, if you have a job where maybe, you say for example, you're just making like say twenty dollars or ten dollars uh-huh. an mm-hmm. hour, you cannot save <laughs> because to True. Me, like, that was too small. How yeah. You start saving when you just yes. make ten dollars yes. an hour, and then your taxes being taken out. Like, how do you even yes. save from that? Yes. So talk to someone who is in that place and think it's impossible for them to save and how they can be able to save. And I say this to say because I know you and I know how you are able to know you always say, oh, that's not small. No money is small. (laughs) Break it down for us. We need to know the secret. Sure, for sure. (laughs) The first thing I want to deal with is the psychology of money. Because in order to get to a place where you're really saving money, Mm -hmm. you have to understand your relationship with it. So for me, I got to a point where I understood. I'm sorry if I'm a little fast because when I start speaking about something I'm passionate about, I just go off. We're doing my dad on the level show. (laughs) (laughs) So I had to understand my relationship with money. Mm -hmm. Coming from a culture... Um, that we don't we don't have so much of a saving yes, culture. Yes, Our I relationship agree. with money is almost passive aggressive. Yes. When we have it, we spend, spend, spend. Then we don't have we it. Don't have when it. we have it again, we spend, spend, spend. So I came to realize that I personally hold on so tight to my money mm-hmm. where I basically go to the other end of the spectrum. I don't want to spend it. Mm. And that's not a healthy relationship okay. with money. So coming from that place now, I, I noticed that if you have a job, it doesn't matter if it's $2 an hour, $3 an hour, $10, 20 $100 an hour. Mm-hmm. What you cannot do when you have a $10 an hour job, you're never going to do when you have a $100 an hour job. Wow. Fi- good financial That's habits good. starts way before you get the million dollar opportunity. Okay. You need to learn that. Um, and I'll, I also speak from a Christian perspective. Okay. When I work and I earn my salary, I know that, okay... Ten percent goes to God. Okay. In terms of tithes, yes. right? Yes. So if you're in the habit of doing that already, you'd realize that it's so easy to discipline yourself yes. to know that when I get my paycheck, I don't care what how much I get, I don't care what I have going on, mm-hmm. at least ten percent of that paycheck needs to go to savings. Wow. 
So you have to start there first. So when you start working, even if it's $10 an hour, you know that if you're earning $1,000 every two weeks mm -hmm. or maybe less, mm -hmm. something, $100. If $100 is too much to save, put aside 50 mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't go past a paycheck without saving something. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Because, especially now it's summer, we have all these cute clothes, cute I shoes. Know. Even as ladies, we want to look fly, we want to look good. Yeah. Um, oh, so it's not cheap, you know, the rents, you oh, know, yeah. all of that. Sometimes it's not tempting. Like, I'm, I am guilty. So that's why <laughs> Me too. I see. We're all guilty. <laughs> I'm so guilty. So I'm coming to that mindset where you are in right now, where it's like you just said, don't pass any paycheck without saving something right and that to me I'm, it's, it's hard i got paid i think it's that's hard i don't I think know. that's i saved i know it's hard mm -hmm. is there like little things that you can tell us to do i know sometimes you say like just create a little account somewhere and yes. just put it aside like you never want to see it yes or because some people are in jobs where there's a 401k but they don't even use it like, right right so okay yeah so let me break down what saving means okay okay so some people think saving and rightfully so is all about when you get that paycheck put ten dollars away mm -hmm. saving starts way before the paycheck hits your hand okay so we're in america and yeah. we have retirement accounts we have 401ks whatnot yeah. you'll be surprised how many people spend a hundred percent of their paycheck what does that mean they don't even put money into their 401k that is the easiest thing you can do because in order for money to go into your 401k, it comes out before taxes. So mm. even before the government gets its share, you mm. save for yourself. So normally most employers match up to 5%, meaning that if you save, say 5% of your, um, pay. Your, your pay or so, um, most employers would match 5% of that. So if you save well not to go into the details mm -hmm. but just know that if you have any further questions you can ask me later but yes so when you get your paycheck the least you can do is set it at five percent to go into your 401k okay. if you truly want to break it down five percent at the end of the day is maybe like fifty dollars yeah. or something very minute right. depending but how if, much you yeah make. depending how much you make right. and if you check it if you didn't you don't save that five percent it goes to the government anyway and by the time you get it as hard cash on your hand it's probably like twenty dollars hmm. so if you're not saving you're spending it okay. in taxes hmm. so the easiest thing is to put that five percent away let the government match it once you do that now um, and then you get your paycheck in hand yes the same way you have a grocery list, the same way you know your rent is due at the end of the month, no matter <laughs> what you do, is the same mindset you need to employ that when you get that paycheck, get cash, okay? Mm. Get the cash, get an envelope, stick it in. Okay. $20, 10 look, I'm not, if you're starting out and you're struggling, right? I'm not saying that start saving $100, 1000 whatever they can know. Start with 10. But just have a mindset yeah. that you have to save something. Have an achievable goal. Start okay. with 10. Start with 20. Before you know it, six months from there, that 10, 20 or whatever you save is $600. And for somebody who is struggling, you know what $600 can yes. do for you on a yes. rainy day. That's a lot of Americans are leaving one paycheck away from disaster. That's true. You understand? And if you have that $600 stash somewhere, it would help you where you're not running to payday loans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get yes. it? You're not running to go find yes. short-term, very high-interest loans. Right. Um, so once you start doing that, so I talked about 401k. Yes. What helps me mm -hmm. personally is that I have my um, savings automated where before... I get the money into my bank account, it automatically goes into an investment account, like a personal non-IRA investment yeah. account. Okay. Because I know I don't have a card for that account. Before I get money out of that account, it is so hard. Yes. So in fact, it helps me automatically save without thinking about and it. And it's making more money for yes. you as well. Yes, yes. Wow. So that's a trick that really helps me and it can help some people. I mean, they're different circumstances out there which you really just only need to talk about but there's nobody who cannot save wow Whew. 
I need I need that. <laughs> Because discipline, like you said, is something that when it comes to money, is because some, sometimes I wake up, I'm like, I want to go buy something. Why do I need it? Right. Do right. I need it? Like, I have the shoes. I want it in this color. Yeah. I, is that necessary? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that, oh, it's just $3. It's just $5. It's just $10. It's on sale. It adds up. But do I need it? It adds up. Like, I can have it this year and I never put it on to like, yeah. maybe next year. I'm guilty. But if I had that money saved somewhere for that entire year, mm-hmm. maybe I would have made so much oh, more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, I think that's very important, especially, again, as us as immigrants or people of color or people who are, you yeah, know, in yeah. the middle class when it comes to finances. So yeah. that's really amazing. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about you. Um, okay. Yeah. So do you, are you, are you, do you have anything out, maybe like a book, or how do you share this information out? Or is sure, there sure. any plans to have a book out or anything like that? Okay, well, for now, I'm not thinking about a book yet. Okay. But one of the things, I, I like to start small yes. with the community I have around me, start um, with what I have. Okay. So one of the things that I'm passionate about, which goes hand in hand with mm-hmm. this whole financial talk, is mm-hmm. credit repair. Oh, okay. um, I love speaking to people how they can basically get their credit from 485 mm-hmm. to 600, 650, 700. So... Um, that's one of the things I do okay. um, ad hoc, meaning that if you have, if I see somebody who needs help in that area, right. we would have a conversation, we would have a discussion. Okay. Another thing I do is um, I do have uh, investment training courses okay. that I put on as the needs okay. ri- arise. Right. So if there are people who want to learn how to, say you've gotten to a point where you've saved a little bit and you want mm-hmm. to start trading in the stock market um, and things like that, um, I do have that where I can work one-on-one with you um, or as a group and give you, show you the ropes on how to go about that. Um, I answer questions when it comes to retirement planning, okay. um, if you're thinking about maybe starting to build wealth for your kids, saving right. for your kids, things like that. So I can work with people one-on-one depending on what their needs are. And it doesn't only have to be um, credit repair or m- investing yeah. if you're wanting to buy a car. Can you afford it? Right. So looking at your finances and telling you, yes, no, you can't afford it. Mm-hmm. If you're wanting to buy a house, staying within your budget, budget yeah. or things that I um, okay. work one-on-one with people. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Nice. So um, in this show, one of the things, I mean, the main thing is all about inspiration. So right. just giving out inspirational things like what you're saying, how we can make someone come mm-hmm. from you know, a down place to a much more better mm-hmm. place mm-hmm. and become a star that got created and to be. Mm-hmm. So in this box right here, some of the quotes that I really go by and I believe in them and I mm-hmm. have learned from mm-hmm. different, we have so many great men and women that are mm-hmm. out there that are bringing so much wisdom and information to mm-hmm. us. So I'm going to have you open that. This now. Oh, yes. Okay. Hi. Hold on. <laughs> You're going to open that when I tell you to. <laughs> I'm and, ready. <laughs> yes, I know. When I do, someone is like, oh, can I just... So, yeah, you're going to open that and you're going to look into the camera and read that code. Okay. With so much, you know, energy. Okay. Boss lady. All right. Like. All right. Mm-hmm. And then once that is done, you're also going to give us something you go by. Okay. You know, I, I remember from a different episode, uh, one of my guests said she does not have a plan B. She said, whatever you do, never have a plan B. She only has a plan A. Mm-hmm. That is something that has stuck with me. Yeah. Because I, yeah, I think that was really amazing. Most yeah. people say, oh, you can have a plan B, a plan C. Yeah. She's like, I never have a plan A. So yeah. things like that. So when you give us your own code, definitely we're going to have it in there someday. And so that someone else can come. And of course, be inspired by. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? That's great. That's, That's great. great. We're all learning from each yes, other. Yes, we're all learning. So now, drums rolling. Open the box. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I just pick whatever. Okay, I'm going to pick the one that I think is lovely. Okay. Okay. So I just read to the yes. camera. Yes, read to the camera. Uh-oh. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. The language of Christianity hmm. is faith. By Benson Idahosa. The late Benson Idahosa. The late Benson Idahosa. Can you read it again? Yes. With that face. Okay, all right. (laughs) The language of Christianity Mm. is faith. 
faith. faith. You gotta believe. You faith. gotta believe. Yes. You gotta believe. And yes. you also gotta believe in this saving that you wanna do. You have to believe it. Oh yeah. Oh you yeah. You have to be intentional about yeah. it. Intentionality. Yes. 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 I like that quote so much because it helps me when I'm in the down moments. Yeah. As a Christian girl, like when I'm in like it's almost like I'm giving up on oh, this yeah. thing. I, I need some things like that to kinda of help me get yeah. back to my feet. All right, so go ahead and give us your own hope, your own Phoebe. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I am Phoebe quote. Your own Phoebe um, word. Be a bulldog. Hmm. Um, that's one thing I think that describes how I view life. Okay. Be a bulldog in it everything you're doing meaning that what does that mean it means that when you latch onto something don't Mm, give up up. even if it's shaking even if it's the house is coming down don't give up and when you don't give up it gives you a consistency Mm. water can basically crack a rock depending on how long it has been dripping on that rock Mm. it can literally dent a rock you understand water so if water can dent a rock your consistency your doggedness can open doors for you that you never expected. Woo! I love it. I love it. Be a bulldog by Phoebe H. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. First. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for thank coming you. today to the episode. We were Thanks for having me. Having you, of course. And I hope that what you shared, you know, I have learned and I hope someone else will also learn to be intentional and serious yeah. about saving yeah. money. Yeah. For, um, you know the future. So oh, yeah. hope we have you again somewhere. Oh, um, I'm more than happy to come back. We just basically scratched the surface yes, of this whole that's thing. True. There's so, so much real more. Quick, tell us where to follow you, maybe Instagram or whatever. If you have any social platform out there, we'll I go. am on Facebook. Okay. Not so much on the other platforms, but you can follow me <laughs> at Phoebe at you, and of course you're gonna post my handle or so, yes. so you can follow me. Um, feel free to inbox me with questions. I'm very open. Nothing is off. Well, most things are not off limits. <laughs> <laughs> most things are not off limits. So feel free to reach out. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank All right, you. guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember, you have to chase it like a boulder. Yes. Get hold of it. Grab it. And if you're new, it's your first time, we thank you for stopping by and watching. Make sure you subscribe to our episodes, follow us on all the social media platforms at The Level Show. And until we come your way again, God willing, with a whole new vibe and a whole new guest, you guys stay positive, stay inspired, okay? Bye-bye.